people are gearing up for the total solar eclipse now just 12 days away. Around 12 million Americans are in its path, stretching 70 miles wide and 3,000 miles long from Oregon to South Carolina. And TJ Holmes is here with how states are preparing for the power surge. Good morning, TJ. Hey, good morning, Trey. More and more Americans are getting their electricity through solar power. So what are you supposed to do when the sun goes away in the middle of a summer day? Well, regulators are working pretty hard right now to make sure your lights don't go out when the light goes out. Small towns are turning into boom towns as millions flock to rural America to catch a glimpse of the rare solar eclipse. I'm really excited about it. When the skies darken across the United States, electric companies will face a massive challenge. How to avoid power disruptions and a post-eclipse surge that could cripple the nation. Grid operators are urgently transporting energy across the country to prepare for the temporary shortfall in solar depleted regions. For several minutes at a time, between the hours of 1135 and 235 Eastern Time, the moon will totally obscure the sun in 14 states. This will strain solar production, similar to the effect of shutting down 15 power plants all at once. In California, where nearly 5 million homes are supplied with solar power, officials are urging residents to unplug and conserve energy use, saying, quote, let's give our hardworking sun a break. North Carolina, right in the prime path of the eclipse, ranks number two in the country for solar power. We want to make sure we have our power plants in reserve that can take up the slack when the eclipse is happening, but also be able to pull them back when that solar starts to operate again. And get this, another issue has to do with cell phone usage because some of these rural towns, your population is 6,000. It's mm -hmm. going to grow to 150,000 people coming to check it out. Yeah. Your cell phones aren't going to work, so they're actually bringing in cell phone towers, and everybody's going to be trying to do what? Send out a picture, look at the solar eclipse, and you're not going to be able to get those messages. Think, think about that. And also, Little League World Series is going on at this yeah. time. Mm -hmm. They're going to play through it. Yeah, their solution? Turn the lights on. They're just going to hit <laughs> <laughs> They're going to really? play through it, hit a switch. It's not going to be a full eclipse where they are. Uh, a pretty significant uh, coverage of the sun, but they're just going to turn the lights on and you are not going to miss play a pitch. Ball. We're going to play, play ball. ball. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, man. You got it, man. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.